with the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the Seattle Seahawks. This fielded right at the goal line and able to get this out to the 25. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. First play, and Young is going to throw it. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. Now the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that give him 18 it's a carolina first down i'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball he did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down they will run for the first time with miles sanders and he's up across midfield and down into seattle territory it's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Flush to his right, and his throw here is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Young on third down. And that would be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This from 54 yards away. And that will line up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. Now Gino on first down. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it 
are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now Gino. And he wisely will throw that one away. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Smith. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 31. A first look here for DJ Dallas. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now Smith. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. A first down throw for Young, and his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there, and it's second down. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. To throw again on second down. Young, he's going to look deep down the field. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. A big play there for Carolina. 46 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. Young will set to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping a ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They'll run with Sanders up the middle, and he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the wall. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the wall. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders taking it in from a yard out. And the Panthers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. 
And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go and they kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field ready for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in. Everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. And they'll run. It's Ken Walker. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, They've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. On fourth down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and ten. Carolina getting set to take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here is Young. Sanders has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official won't even think twice about pulling this flag on that one. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Now here's Young. Steps away to his left. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator that showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. 
Hayden Hurst, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Throwing now is Geno. Eluding the pressure right. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. But remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. Could have been his second, but instead it's fourth down. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football, first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. To throw, Young. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good, 
and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. From just shy of midfield, Young. And he'll just get rid of it. No receivers open, so he's forced to put that one into Puget Sound. That's a great job defensively blanketing those receivers. And ultimately, a smart idea by him just to get the ball out of there. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Young. And he comes back with one complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 28. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. That's a big force of completion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll throw again. Young. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. So this defense, they gave up some yards on this drive, but bottom line, they came up with a sack when it mattered. And we know that every down counts, but let's be honest about it. People focus on third down as a real key down in any drive, any situation, and they took full advantage of third down there and made a play. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. Oh, a good looking return set up here. There he goes, left side. 20, 10. He will score. Touchdown, Seahawks. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Extra point up and through by Myers, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7.
So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added onto their lead, but that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Oh, now is the punter, Johnny Hecker, who in fact grew up just north of here and nearby Bothell. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. On first down, Smith. Walker with a grab, left side. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. So nothing doing there, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. To throw again on second down, Smith. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. Two yards on the pickup there. And third and eight now. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Throwing on third down, Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Here's Michael Dixon now to punt. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Young's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here's second and a yard. Young to throw it. To the right side and complete to Hurst. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. 
Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They go play action. Young to the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. From the 41, Young. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've hit at 50%, three and six to this point. This time they face a third and two. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Young throw complete there to Thomas. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or he keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. A gain of three, second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On second and seven, Young. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Young now. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if this is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Baby. Let's do this, man. All right, go 
Go get him now. You found boys. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Here's Walker to start the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. I if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun, Smith. Completes it to Fant on the right side. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you've got a heck of a tight end candidate. And this will be a Seahawks first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back to Walker on first down. Gets around him. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now Gino. He completes this to Walker. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. They'll run on first down with Dallas, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Second and 11 now. Smith. He's got his big tight end, Fan. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Smith now to throw. Puts it on the carpet. It's out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Young now after the fumble recovery. Seven yards on the play. And that will bring up second down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Oh, 
second down and three. Here is Young. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First down throw for Young. Flushed out right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Now Young. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And this defense going to bring out a couple extra DBs here on third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. So we come upon halftime intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. This fielded right at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times. Looking for Larkin, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. Following the interception, Young, wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it, and they pick up another first down there. Young looks to throw on first down. Left side here to Sanders. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Now here's Young. Flush to his right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the little reset and try something different. Well, this red zone is where the Seahawks crowd really makes it tough for an offense to communicate. It's third down to throw Young to the end zone but knocked away and incomplete nice back to back plays defensively they're stacking momentum now one incompletion two incompletion they're going for more now for the field goal try here's Eddie Pinheiro from the left half should be a fairly easy one here the kick by Pinheiro is good, and that will extend their lead even further. 
But whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. On second down, it's Walker. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, here's Smith. It's caught, lock it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not no. he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Walker now on first and 10. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On second and a couple. Smith to the right side and complete to Metcalf. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it's Smith. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Throwing now is Gino. Finding Lockett for the catch here on the out route. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Toss left side for Walker. 
Now the ball comes loose, but I believe a Seahawk was able to get a handle on this, so this will remain Seattle ball. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. Now, I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered, they still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Now Smith. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Strong coverage by Carolina, and on we go to fourth down. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Myers' kick is good, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Make sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and force the field goal attempt that went through. Let's go, Let's go man. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. It's a loss of four on the first down play. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Second down, back to Sanders. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 57 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And some room to work. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders, 65 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, that's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of, can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. Right up, right up. Let us 
The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Seahawks offense now. They get ready to come back onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Oh, felt like that move deserved more than he got there. A gain of two. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Geno now to throw. Left side complete to lock it. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up third and two. Here's Smith. Returning right back to Lockett. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. Now Gino on first down. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second down, a run with Dallas. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the 50, it's Smith. This complete to lock it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 35. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Trying the left side with Walker. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw is Smith. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Smith on third down. And that is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. So on fourth down, here's Jason Myers for the Seahawk field goal. He made his first attempt, this from 45. Myers' kick is good, and they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. So in the end, they had the ball for ten plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive. 
But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And Young's throw there incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't, because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield, and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Defensively, they rallied the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Now it's Lockett. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. And this offense on third down today, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This time it's third and three. That throw by Young incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. Yeah, uh -huh. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So already not the best of kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goalposts. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. Now this one complete on the slant route. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Throwing again on second down. Smith throwing it at traffic there, and that's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The quick slant, good for a first down, a gain of 12. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. On first down, it's Smith. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and four. Here's Smith. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Again, Smith. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Looking to throw again on second down. Smith, left side here, that's the tight end fan. And he's gonna be marked down just inside the 35. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now Gino. He's got his tight end fan. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 23. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. Forced out to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing is Smith. He'll find Metcalf. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. 
One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert, and the Panthers will get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 143 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Another run here with Sanders. It's a room to maneuver, and he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Sanders. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. And the Seahawks add a couple of extra DBs going with the dime look here. Indeed, six on the field. Young working out of the gun. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 15-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Now Young to the right side and complete to Hurst. So five yards here, five on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Sanders going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Sanders again, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. 
Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. This is Dallas, an inside handoff. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Defensively, you've got the nice lead here in the fourth quarter. You're saying, eh, if they want to get a run of a little over 10 yards, that's okay. <laughs> I hear what you're doing there, and I think you're on to something. They've loosened up on defense, so don't get fooled by the nice runs you're getting now. You've got to get bigger plays, possibly think about throwing the football a bit more here. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. From the 44, Smith. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first and 10, Smith completes it to Fant on the right side. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now the Seahawks are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Smith throwing again. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Geno out of throw. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. And, yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. 
But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Myers connects on the PAT. And the lead is down to 24. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. Just all around a solid performance, and now they've got the three-score lead here, Charles, the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and this one, they've been in control, haven't they? They've earned this victory. No question who the better team was out there in this game. And frankly, the score could have been a lot worse than it was. Give them a lot of credit for how they played in this one. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.